They're the first one in the gym and the last to leave, spending late nights making practice plans, strategizing, and fostering teamwork. Yes, these are the coaches. High school sports simply are not possible without their time, care, and support. Here are our finalists for the Naples Daily News Coach of the Year. Rodlin Anthony, Immokalee football. In his second season at his alma mater, Anthony led Immokalee to a th its third undefeated regular season in school history and a regional championship. He also kept his players focused and together after Hurricane Irma ravaged their community early in the season. Kim Benedict, Gulf Coast Boys Golf. Benedict led the Sharks, who missed a large chunk of their season due to the hurricane, to the first high school boys golf championship in Collier County history, winning by a single stroke. Gulf Coast was dominant this year, winning the CCAC district and regional championships. And Marcy Walker, first Baptist volleyball. Walker led a roster of just eight players to the Class 3A state championship match and a 21-6 record. To get there, the Lions had to beat Evangelical Christian, who had beaten FBA three times prior that season. Before this year, FBA had never been past the second round of the playoffs. And your winner, Naples Daily News Coach of the Year, Kim Benedict, Gulf Coast High School. Um, just wanted to say thank you to the Naples Daily News and the news press for this incredible honor. Uh, I have two amazing bosses, Joe Mikulski and Matt Cook from Gulf Coast, so thank you to them for their support. Alan Scott, I see you, uh, and thank you to my boys golf team for always believing in me and believing in each other and believing that we could win states. Thank you. This is for my To present the Jeff Summer Memorial Coach of the Year Award, please welcome back to the stage, Southwest Florida Regional Sports Editor, Ed Reed. Former Astero High School cross country, track coach, and athletic director Jeff Summer was tragically, tragically taken from us three years ago. But the lives he touched and the lessons he's taught us live on with the three Ds, discipline, desire, dedication. The news press created the Jeff Summer Memorial Coach of the Year Award to be presented annually at this award show as a reminder of the man and his dedication to not just his athletes, but anyone who wanted to better themselves. Each high school in the news press coverage area was asked to submit one nominee from its coaching staff for the award explaining not only the coach's athletic success, but also to explain how the coach impacted the athlete's lives based on the three D principles. A panel of judges, which included the Summer family and friend, Star High principal, former Star High principal, George Clover, scoured over the entries and narrowed them to three finalists and an overall winner. Here are the three finalists for this year's Jeff Summer Memorial Coach of the Year Award. Martin Cardenas, Mariner High School Boy Soccer. Cardenas has been a fixture with the Mariner Boy Soccer Program for the last 23 years, posting a 368 and 158 record with nine district titles. This season, he led the Tritons to a 24 and seven record where they vanquished rival Cape Coral twice en route to a district championship and a regional final berth. Chris Hayward, Riverdale High School Wrestling. The numbers speak for themselves. Two team state championships, three team state runner-up finishes, 14 conference and district championships, 21 individual state champions, and 82 state places in his career. This season, Riverdale not only had eight individual state qualifiers, but seven of them placed and the Raiders were a state runner-up in the inaugural state dual championships. In the summer months, he accompanies wrestlers all over the country 
to compete and establish the Riverdale Wrestling Club. And finally, Sam Seriani Jr., Fort Myers High School football. Sammy has not only maintained success on the field with 115 career wins and 11 district titles, but has continued to leave every player who walks through his doors better prepared for life after football and high school. This season, having suffered key injuries early on, Fort Myers fought to win seven games and a district title. The Green Wave upset undefeated rival North Fort Myers 7-6 to reach a regional final. And now, the winner of this year's Jeff Sum Memorial Coach of the Year Award is Sam Seriani, Fort Myers High School. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank the news press uh, for a wonderful event. Uh, to these athletes that are uh, such great representatives of their schools and their communities, I wish you only the best. Uh, you're what uh, make prep sports what they are, and uh, you'll do great things, I know. <clears throat> to uh, the fellow nominees from afar, I've watched uh, Coach Cardenas and Coach Hayward, and I'm humbled. Uh, much more deserving than I am for something like this, but I graciously accept it on their behalf. And finally, you know, when you get an award, uh, any coaching award, it goes to your administration starting at Fort Myers High School. I've been blessed to be there 32 years and had wonderful leadership uh, currently with uh, Mr. LaRosa. I've had great coaching staff and mainly I've had great players. They make us look like good coaches. And, uh, you know, uh, this isn't my style. People that know me know that these kind of awards, anything individual, uh, I'm not real comfortable with. But this one will mean something special to me. For 32 years, or for a big part of those years, I got to know a gentleman named Jeff Summers. He was a fellow coach. Uh, at times was a fellow athletic director, but better than that, he was a great friend. And I watched him, and I know that even though, unfortunately, he's not with us, his spirit will live in Lee County forever. And to the Summers family, you know, I'm very touched, and I'll always remember tonight. Thank you. This is for my people back home. We might have